Hello and welcome back for part two. In this video, we are going to start out by creating the uh, root window, the main view, whatever you want to call it. So I have IntelliJ open. Let's call it, a, I'm going to create a new package here. Let's call it okay reads. I'm going to follow the MVVM structure that you are hopefully familiar with by now. And we are going to create some cat packages for this. Uh, let's say call for my view uh, stuff, uh, my, my, my factories, my view handle and so on. And I'm going to create a package called main view. In here, we will define a new FXML file, which I probably don't have available until I go and say project structure, modules, error dependency, and library, and then my JavaFX library. I have mine as a global library, Otherwise, you have to. Uh, hmm, new library and locate it on your computer. So, this one that should add JavaFX library. Let's see here. I have now, well, some FX modifier, this one, and we call it main view. Yeah, that's good. It asks for a controller. I will call that, not call it, I will call it like this, controller. And let's just create this, create main view controller. So that goes over here, right? So in this package, I have my, my main view controller. Okay, so this here is the view that I need to create so that it is, um, looking like my main view from that slide. I'm going to open it in my scene builder. Okay, uh, let's make this a bit larger. I have an anchor pane as the outer pane, that's probably good. Layout, let's see if we can find something closer to uh, to HD. Now I'm not entirely sure what we are going to, let's, let's just do it like this, 1000 and 800. Now I, I do want it to snap open and, and be maximized, maximized like this, so it probably doesn't matter that I, I set it in here. Uh, I think I'm going to, through the code, set some properties saying should maximize. So let's just try this here. Anger pane, can I rename this? No. Okay, we need a navigation bar at the top. And for that, we're going to put in a page box. Put it here. Um, right, so in, in, uh, in your course, responsive web design, you've learned all about responsiveness. I'm trying to get it to 50 here, and you have learned about Bootstrap, I think, to um, to do some responsiveness, and we hopefully uh, we have something similar in JavaFX where we can sort of place things and make them stretch as the window is resized. We'll see about that later on. Okay, so we'll just do a, a button. Let's put a button here. And did my Xbox change size? 50, 25. How large is the button? Slightly larger. This is okay. We'll do it like this. And the button is going to be called books. Okay, pretty simple. I also need a an anchor pane and this is going to be my content this is the exchangeable content let's just wrap both of these in a, an hbox and see if that behaves slightly better vbox sorry vbox hmm. still have an hbox i have my anchor pane yeah okay and we'll just uh, drag down here. 
Okay. So let's see if I can open this view and just have it maximize. That's where we start. I'm going to need some core stuff in here. I'll start with my usual run OK reads. This is where I put my main method. Oh. Like this, we say application.launch. And here I actually need to put the name of the class that I want to launch. Uh, OK reads application class. I don't have this yet, so let's just create it. Let's say here, new class, OK application. This one is the one that has to extend application from JavaFX, like that. We need to implement the methods. That's the start method. OK. Next step is to make this open something. For that, we need a view handler, like my view handler to manage all my views. We need in here to have a perfect void start method. And oh, not like that. In here, we have the open. So what am I going to do here? I, 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 I would like to have one method for the open view, and it should then take, let's just give it a path. Let's see if we can do it like this. Main view, main view. Right, this is the file that I want to open, right, my fxml file. Create a method for this. And we say this is the path. OK. So I'm going to create a try catch here. Try. Oh, there we go. And a catch because when we load something, um, it might not find the file that we are looking for. So we put it in a try catch. Let's just print the stack trace here. Maybe we will fix that. Later on. Okay, I need an FXML loader to load the FXML file and create my constructor for me. And like that, I think. It takes a URL. We'll see. Maybe that's the location, but usually I do it like this. We get the class, we get the resource, and we have to say path here. Then that's going to give me a, a root node for my scene graph. Like that. And initially we will do it well. I'm going to later on uh, handle the controller initialization here. Uh, it's not relevant for now. We create a scene and we import it. And here we put in the root of my scene graph and then I need a stage. So I'm going to just have one stage, this here. Let's say the constructor takes a stage. Uh, private stage stage primary stage I'm probably only going to have one stage but let's just do it like that I create a constructor to initialize this so it's set from from the outside and we have the scene we have the primary stage and we set the scene here uh, primary stage nope scene like this and we need to show it Primary stage, show. I could say the title if I wanted to, um, of the view, that's not relevant. That's not that, we'll not do that now. So that should be enough. The start method has to be called from somewhere. So my application in here, we say view handler, vh equals new view handler. It takes the stage, I'll just pass along the one we get 
and we say start. Now it's going to be interesting if I run this and see if it can actually find my fxml file. So where's my main method? Here we go. All right. Run. I do get a location not set, so this was not good enough. I could say well, it's main view, main view fxml. I misspelled it. Maybe that's a problem. Let's try again. Didn't help. Okay, so uh, hmm. All right. The problem was that when I start with a slash, we started the root here, the source node uh, folder, and I had the OK reads. So um, I had to put in that in front. I don't want to put that every time, and it's going to be there every time. So let's just put it down here uh, like this. Oh, go away like that. So I'm going to open the main view, main view fxml. Maybe we will beautify this at some point. So if I run it now, I get a nice looking box. This box doesn't do anything. Okay, I would like this to be maximized. So let's try and see if we can fix that. That's something we have to do from the code. And to do it from the code, I have to get the controller. So in this case, we do have to fix the controller here. Load, get controller, um, like that. OK. It returns to me a controller, like this. OK, so obviously, it's not a good idea that I have the main view controller here. We will fix that later, because this method is going to be used to open anything. Um, so they're going to have each view will have a different controller, but we will get back to that by introducing an interface. So let us do it like this. I need an init method. This is the usual approach. I have seen other approaches where you can do something with reflection and provide the FXML loader with a way to initialize stuff to, to call a constructor, but um, I'm going to, to pass some arguments to the controller, so that's why I use the init method instead of the constructor, because I cannot uh, call the constructor manually from my code. Right. If I created a constructor in here, um, the fxml loader is going to call that. So I need the init method. Eventually, I'm going to put in some arguments, because my controller needs to know about things, potentially. But for now, let's see if we can maximize this. Okay, so after a, uh, about seven seconds of furiously Googling it, it seems that there's a method here we can say set maximized to true. And um, if I just run it again, we'll see that I automatically get this maximized. Maybe at some point I want these to be larger. It seems like I'm going to have a very small task bar up here or menu bar or whatever. But I have a maximized view and um, it's split into two parts, the top part with the menu buttons and the bottom part with my anchor pane where I can put in my content. So the content is going to be in the next video. Thank you for watching.